Hello everyone, Cannon Lloyd here with another channel update video. Um, I'm going to briefly just talk about what's been going on for the past week or so. Um, so pretty much the main thing is pretty much the main issue that I've been having for quite a while now is with corrupted footage from GeForce Experience that I just simply can't use in Movie Maker. And this in the background is a cool thanks for anyone wondering. And I did try a solution that I found online and it didn't really seem to do much. It made the footage playable, but it was so laggy and the audio was decent. It was, it was awful. So I'm not exactly sure what I'm going to do about that. Uh, for Thanksgiving, um, I'm going to visit my parents and hopefully my, my dad, who is a lot better with computers than I am. Uh, has some ideas of how to fix that. So that is the only thing I can do pretty much for the moment. Almost got him. So besides that, what I've been work working on is putting together a review of Benny and the Ink Machine for Every game that I finish a Let's Play of, I had planned to do a review of the game and just to express my thoughts on what I thought was good, what could have been better, that sort of thing. And then give it an overall rating of what I would rate it as with using the rating system I used in my Vega Conflict review. Um, so I do have some footage and stuff of that. Uh, currently, so that is in the works. Another thing that I've been thinking of is I was kind of wondering it, an opinion of, of viewers of my channel. Um, throughout my Benny and the Machine Let's Play, I just felt like watching the footage again, I thought that my commentary for, for that game for one reason or another was just a whole lot better than my other projects that I have done solo. Uh, the projects that I work with Warmonger I think are fine, but the other ones that it has only been me, like the Sword Art my Fatal Bullet series, as well as any other thing that I have, and any other things that I have worked on that I can't think of right now. Um, I just thought Benny and Nick for one reason or another, I just thought that it just came out a lot better, and I've been thinking lately, possibly of doing more horror games on my channel. I am not, I'm not entirely sure. I mean, I try. I don't usually play that much horror games. First, uh, any of the machine was probably only in a handful of ones that I tried out, uh, but I just really felt like the commentary on Benny and the Machine was just a lot better than some of my other projects, and I was wondering if I should work on trying out other horror games and see if that's kind of something that I, I, can, I can integrate more on my channel if, if that is if there's any, how much interest there is, and also me trying out more horror games, I get, uh, get more experience with them. So it's, it's obviously not going to be like a guaranteed thing or something that I do all of the time. Uh, because I don't really see myself doing just horror games as for my channel, but but I'm just putting out ideas in there. Is it something that my my viewers would be interested in me doing? Because, but like I said, I, I just thought with Benny and the Machine One, I just really thought that commentary on it was a lot better than uh, uh, 
it turned out very well. So it's kind of what that is just kind of something that I'm thinking of. Uh, besides that, I did also think about possibly doing another project while I'm waiting for the whole corrupted footage thing. And, and that would be possibly Portal. Uh, because Portal 1 is, it's a really short game, to be honest. I'm pretty sure that I've fi finished the, the game in, in about three hours, which, considering my videos are usually roughly 30 minutes long, that, that is, that's pretty short. So, any other games besides that, I, I'm not entirely sure. It, currently, until I, if, if I do try to work on something else, until I get the corrupted footage thing fixed, uh, it will probably be focused on more short projects, short-term projects rather than a, a long-term projects, because, well, if I have the corrupted footage problems again, that doesn't really help. Also, being short projects, that means I can finish them quickly and jump on to the projects I, I was working on before. So, yeah, that, I think that's pretty much everything I wanted to cover. Uh, feasting on that yak type thing. I really do like the auto rifle from the Pacific World Order and World of Tanks. As soon as I got the, the turret to get the three shells, been a pretty good experience so far. I know that has nothing to do with what I've been talking about, but I just felt like pointing that out. Three thousand five hundred damage and thousand spotting. Woo! So yeah, that, that's pretty much what has been going on and uh, and, and my thoughts. Uh, so if any of you are interested in, in either Portal 1 or me doing possibly more horror games on the channel, uh, just let me know in the comment section below. So thank you very much for watching and have a wonderful day. And here is the results. Class 1, 1800 experience. And that was without any modifiers. So, for anyone interested in the con in the results, there.